Hey folks, how you doing? Joe here, I'm all by myself. I'm out in the middle of the woods. I hiked for about, I don't know, a couple kilometers. From my friend south of the border, that's maybe a mile I walked. Paddled as well. I'm out in this wilderness remote area. I got my brand new backpack with me. The Forest Ruck from the Hidden Woodsman. Malcolm and I are going to be doing a giveaway of one of these backpacks. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. But right now i got to get my shelter set up. It's calling for thunderstorms at 7. It's 4 o'clock now and it's sprinkling already. I just got to this spot so I want to set up camp. I still need to catch, some, uh, catch a bass for supper. Who knows if that will happen or not. If not, we're eating rice tonight. We'll get into the meat and potatoes of this backpack in a little bit. Oh look, blueberries. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll get into it, get into it all, get into the specs and the giveaway and what I have and everything. But I really do need to just get my, my shelter up, so I don't even need to get into the backpack right now. This is what we're setting up. Alux TP tent. So yeah, it is starting to rain already. We didn't bring the bug net with this. It's August, I don't know, early August, early, like August 7th, maybe something like that. Um, no bug net. And it still barely fit into the, to the stuff sack. And also no pegs. We're going to have to uh, cut our own pegs. I did bring the pole just to make things a little bit quicker because I was anticipating it might be strapped for time with the rain. So with this pole, I want to get it. There's a bunch of different uh, positions, positions or lengths you can do. I think I want it just under my chin. This might be a gear heavy video, just telling you guys now if you don't like that kind of thing. Still going to camp, but I'm going to talk about a lot of gear. I got a new uh, new shirt we're selling, Wild and Bushcraft on BunkerBranding.com. Got the Scout logo. I like it quite a bit. It's a good color. Um, got a new pot. Got Milcom's, Milcom's backpack. We've got this tent. Let's talk about some gear. All right, so we got to peg these uh, all these sides down, but we have to make pegs first. Bum, bum, bum. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. So I'm lucky that this is here. I can use this for all the pegs I need. If I'm careful, I can. Yeah, so that'll be a good peg with a little hook on the end. These might be getting a bit thick, but we'll see. Got a few anyways. Hmm. I've got my Deering Sammy Puko with me. Show you a little bit more of that later too. I really, really like this knife. It's super slick. Okay, we got some solid uh, soil as well. It's not just um, rock underneath, which is very helpful. I have to trim these down a little bit. Maybe take the pokies off a touch. Pokies. I want no pokies. You guys hear the rain on the tarp? I hope it does thunderstorm. I just hope it waits a minute. Probably not great for the camera to get rained on for too long. Naughty wood, man. Naughty, naughty wood. Dad joke. Lost one peg, but we'll fix that. Not too shabby. 
the one we the last one we put in broke and I uh, I tried to just make do. We shall fix that. Save some of these for the morning for my oatmeal. One of my favorite things in the wild. Well, I guess we could crawl on in for a minute and set up camp in there. It is raining, but it's not too bad. I gotta catch a fish, like I said. If not, it's jerky and, and, and rice. This is a bad call not bringing a bug screen today. There's a ton of bugs. Good thing is, there's a lot of uh, dry firewood. Oops, I didn't bring my, my bush buddy. I just brought a little bit of stuff. So I can't really have a fire inside the, the, the tent, but I'm going to fire right near it. Clear out a path. There's all rock underneath there. So New glasses, too. New sunglasses. Native, native brand. Polarized. I keep losing sunglasses left and right all the time. Let's get on in there and shut it. Maybe the bugs will stay out for the most part. Who knows? I'm happy with this spot, how flat it is. I think I'll, I'll get myself set up maybe for the most part. Um, so this is called the Forest Ruck, like I said. This is the Joe Robinette version. Uh, so this is my color scheme, and it has my pouch, or my, sorry, my patch on the top. Malcolm's got his nice rubberized patch on the inside as well. First off, we've got this pretty cool zippered part up here. It's pretty uh, generous, the room. Mesh top, uh, nylon cordura maybe. N normal, normal stuff on the bottom. It is muggy in here. I've got things like uh, medicine, Snacks from the store, hooks, my fishing license, fishing pliers, worms. I've got a headlamp in here, battery for my camera. This is mostly just personal stuff I put up here, right? Like um, just easy access with some uh, more pills and a uh, Fox Light gear bandana or hanky. And what I like to use this for, uh, I got this from Doug. Instead of bringing gloves, whenever your pot's on the fire and it's hot, you can just use one of these as long as it's like durable enough. And this one's wool, so box light gear. They hook it up all the time. They have quality patches and um, bandanas and zip pouches. Not patches, sorry, pouches. Zip pouches and stuff sacks, all, the whole nine yards. I use a lot of their stuff. This is a Bushcraft Outfitters 6x8 Mest. This is Sil Nylon and it's blaze orange, obviously. I can use this for things like signaling. I can use this for laying on the ground underneath me if I don't want to lay my sleeping pad on the ground. I can use this for keeping a little awning out of the rain. Lots of stuff. And, and it packs down way smaller than this, but the paracord I have, this is my problem, paracord. I need to, I need to get another, I used to have uh, glow cord or night eyes, something like that that was really thin, thin, thin cordage. Let me know in the comments, what's a good cordage to use that's strong, that's not paracord, that doesn't soak up water? This is ridiculous using this on such a lightweight thing. This takes up all the room. That's the only reason it's so bulky. This could normally fit in my cargo pocket. Seriously. Uh, this is just the case for the, the tent. Okay, because it's supposed to thunderstorm, I do have my rain jacket. No rain pants. I've got a, a fillet knife. I've got a chair. I have a chair. I wanted to see what I could fit in here but still have not too many things. The chair was more of a space taker upper than anything. Um, I've got my frying pan. I've got my puffy jacket in case, a little pillow. And this is another thing from Malcolm. I haven't seen these size from before. These are just little stuff sacks. He sent me this with the backpack. I've got things in here. From, I got my food, I got my emergency beacon, like just possible pouch, pouch basically, plus food in here. I'll be hanging this tonight too for bears. I don't have my earth sack. My sleeping pad, I mean sorry, my sleeping bag. My sleeping pad. So that's the whole bulk of the, of the backpack. And obviously I had my axe looped in the front here, and I had um, my tent underneath. 
So you can put a wool blanket underneath, you can put your sleeping bag underneath, a tent underneath, a jacket, whatever you want. It's really handy to have that. And that also comes up and loops and shuts the whole backpack. So it's handy to have that for, for looping on, but it's also uh, useful for shutting the backpack. <laughs> hey dear. Okay, that's honestly the main the main gist of it. Oh, I do have my sit pad. And on the inside, it's nice and blaze orange. That's the Joe Robinette style. There is a PVC back piece in here. And it fits me pretty well. It's it's not too wide, but not too narrow at all. It fits my back well. The straps are very minimalistic, but I like that. It's uh, You don't need two big puffy straps on, on like, this isn't a backpacking backpack. This is go out for the day type thing, go out overnight, maybe two nights if you want to type thing. I think it's 30, 30 liters if I'm not mistaken, maybe 25. Uh, okay, so anyways, in the, in the pouches on the sides, these are built-in integrated pouches, which are nice. You don't have to worry about buying extra pouches. I've got my water bottle inside there. I've ruined my, my Nalgene, so I don't have my Nalgene with me, but this is my new stainless steel Joe Robinette pot that we're, we made. So we had all those um, titanium, we had both of those titanium ones, and those were nice. But this one is stainless steel, and I think it's just 25 bucks or something like that. And look, it's got it's got the Scout logo on the, on the inside. It's got the handles, which you can also... If I'm not mistaken, you can take these off. I'll try in a second. Um, it's got the lid. It's heavy duty lid with the steam holes and a lip and um, a handle. And it's got the bail with the little notch for the, for, the, uh, for the stick when you hang it up over the fire. It hangs pretty straight. When the handles are out, it hangs a little to the side, but there's nothing in it, obviously, right? So it hangs much more straight when the, the handles are in. Heavy duty, man. Seriously, bomb proof. And it nests with a Nalgene. Like I said, uh, I ruined mine, but normally it would be like, whoop, right in there with a Nalgene, no problem. Let's see if we can take these handles off. Yep. So if you don't want your handles on, you just pry them off. No problem. Nice and easy. Pretty good price point. It's on bunkerbranding.com under my name on the influencers page. And then, uh, yeah, it's on, right on there, along with this shirt, a ton of other stuff. But titanium is awesome and everything, but sometimes you don't need lightweight, and stainless steel goes a long way. Uh, and it's got some measurements on the inside, too, which is nice. High quality. All my stuff is high quality, guys. You don't have to worry about that. Um, Malcolm, his website is thehiddenwoodsman.com. You can find these on there. So let's just do the giveaway right now. I want everyone who wants to win one of these, and we'll throw in one of these things too, these little stuff sacks, to go to Malcolm's Instagram page, um, at the Hidden Woodsman, uh, M-E-N at the end. And on his last post, just say, Joe sent me, I'm in. And we'll pick a name and we'll send one out to you relatively quickly. One of these guys and one of these guys. That's all you have to do. And follow him, follow Malcolm. Do me a favor and follow Malcolm if you haven't already. So at the Hidden Woods, man, go to his last picture. Say, Joe sent me, I'm in. All right, what do we got on this side? Pepperettes. I hit the store before. I got a little map of the area. I have my silky saw. I have a bug net, head net, just a little cheap one in case. We got some Guggen baits. We got a frog. We got the banger some butt wipe and that's all she wrote that's everything guys so this backpack is nice and flat and there's nothing in it and then you can really extend it and get a whole bunch of stuff I could do two nights out of all this stuff I would might need a touch more food if I can't catch a bass <laughs> check this out Roger made me this I'll put his Instagram on the on the bottom of the screen right now isn't that slick Real nice. So we're gonna be using that today. He's, he's yelling at me to use it. Don't let it just be a safe queen. Use it, Cho. Use it! Look at that, how detailed that is. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that. That's so beautiful. That was a work of art, dude. A work of art. Thank you.
All right, well, we are gonna have to get out of this tent. Have to go do something, cut wood, catch a fish. I do have to have a fire. Again, no, no uh, twig stove, so. Let's get on out there, see how she goes. I might put a couple more pegs in the tent just to, in case it decides to thunderstorm pretty good on us, but either way, we'll be fine. You know what I mean? We've got enough gear. We'll, even if it starts to pour from now on until the morning, like we'll just stay in the tent and it'll be fine. All right, let's go see what we can do. It's rain. Just walking back here behind the camp. I think the plan is to get some firewood first and just store it underneath the tent. Ooh, nice score right here, yep. Store it underneath the tent uh, so that when I come back from fishing, I'll have some dry stuff. Check this out. This is hardwood, yeah. Oh yeah, this is a score, guys. Oh, this is a score. This whole thing, that's all I need. Bonus! Oh, yes. There. Now I'll be able to come back and even if I have to cut it in there and have a little tiny, tiny fire in there with the door open, I can do that too. No big deal. Let's go get ourselves supper. We got a fish on, feels decent. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going for a little bit of a run. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Thought he was about to jump. He's gonna pull me into this log in front of me. That's all right, it's all right. We got a fish, we got a fish, eh? We do. Oh yeah, your dinner. Your straight dinner, bro. Perfect size for eating. This is dinner. Beautiful fish. Wow. No parasites on this one. We'll get the hook out and dispatch them. Show you again. Beautiful fish. Happy with that one. Fought like a champ, too. Sorry about the water on the screen. On the lens. Yeah, nice little eater. I don't even need two of them. One of these plus my rice will do me just fine. I know it. So that's helpful. Pretty fish, man. Very pretty fish. Emmy would be proud. <laughs> okay. That's all taken care of. It's raining, but it's not raining so bad. I think I might take a couple more casts uh, just for fun. Um, and then, yeah, head back on over to camp and get this guy cooked, filleted and cooked up and and relax. Have a good, have a good night. You know. Oh. 
Oh, 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 he's a beast. Oh, he's a dog. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's a personal best, I think. Let's get this guy in the boat. Holy smokes, guys. That's a personal best bass. Look at the size of this bass. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is no doubt the biggest bass I've ever caught. I wish someone was here. I wish I had some way to measure this thing. Look at this football. Look at this football. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much it weighs. I have no clue how much that thing weighs. I just want to get it back in the water. That's a big old breeder. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a fish. Okay. I'm alright. That's a big fish. That's um 15, 16 inches long. I don't know, man. So that's a big fish. Anyways, we're letting that guy go. <laughs> I'm glad I tossed it again. Okay, I'm soaked to the bone. It's raining good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm wet. We got to go back to camp now. Okay, we got a lull in the weather. Let's cut up some wood. I can't have a, whoa. whoa. I can't have a fire here in front. I was gonna hang a tarp and have a fire here in front. I thought it was a rock underneath. It's not, it's all duff. It's just not responsible. So, we got a bunch of the firewood already over here. Woo, camera tree. Yeah, this guy's not looking too bad but uh I couldn't even find any flat rocks to bring over and make a fire pit like a flat spot so I got this rock here I cleared out a little bit let's get our firewood cut up real quick get a fire started then we'll fillet the fish to make the better use of our time <laughs> Glad I brought my axe with me. Just splitting this down. You look for that crack, that check. Make things easier on yourself. Uh, this is maple? Yeah, maple. Nice, nice wood. So you can see, you can quarter it up relatively easily that way. And then even ones with, um, with a bunch of knots, I just cut a little bit shorter. So this, those can give you trouble sometimes, these guys. I would start at the other end again because that's where the check, the crack is prominent. And then, no real problem. Been watching a lot of Ricky Gervais lately. <laughs> a bunch more of these down. We don't really need any whole ones. There's no crack on this one, no check really, so let's go dead center. Not a big deal. Bob's your uncle. This one's kind of gnarly. All the skeeters are coming back out. They like it after the rain. I'll be your skeeter after the rain. Little chippy. Little chippy. It's 
my wrap man. We'll use those pieces to start the fire with to help start the fire. Yeah, this is kind of punk. Kind of punk. A little punky. A little punk. Let's split it. Ah, get it? Let's split it. A little punk. Let's split. Okay. I'm by myself. No one else is here. Same weird things. Oh, rain's starting to pick up again. That's not good. More than anything, just a spot to sit while my fire goes and a spot to put this, this camera that's not all exposed in the rains, you know? Nice, I don't mind it. I'll set you right under here and keep you dry for safekeeping. Like my loon knotties. All right, let's get this bad boy going. I got that birch bark. I sound just like it. Uh, that I picked up on the trail on the way in. So it's nice and dry because I kept it in the tent. Let's get this fire rocking. Got a bunch of cedar branches, but they're a little damp from the rain, so I think I might just do a little tappy tappy. A little tappy tappy and get a couple more manageable pieces off the dry wood. That old tappy tappy. Be careful. Okay, we got birch bark to start with. Let's just do it right on the rock here. All right, Let's take two. Nice and dry because I kept it in the. <laughs> All right, here we go. There she goes. Is it? There it goes. Thanks. Nice. That took a while. like to wipe that fire steel stuff off right away because I use my knife to cut my food normally. Anyways, that was not a great display of fire steel skill. I will admit to that. But we got her going, so that's all that matters. We'll put a brace. Get these guys on there to dry off and start burning. Starting to rain again too. <sighs> Might need some help. Everything's kind of damp. This even this dry wood that sat out. Uh, or that I had under the tent sat out while I was putting that tarp up. Silly of me. We'll shield it. We'll make a little roof. Thank <laughs> you. 
she's raining. We'll get it. I'm not concerned. I'm just shielding. I'm just putting all this on to shield the, uh, the bottom fire from the rain. I'm gonna see what I can do. I might have to pull this tarp over top of this fire. Depending on how it goes, if it keeps raining or not. Hey, bud. Guy's going to town out there, man. Fire's going nicely now. I do need to protect it though. Hoping this works out. So bad, it stays. Okay, we're good, right? We're good, nice, nice. Looking good to me, man. This is home. You can see. I just leaned that paddle out. So there's not much meat, this is one filet, but it's pretty chunky, so it's not too bad. Uh, still got the skin on, I'll obviously take it off, but uh, we're not gonna lose any. So, nice, we'll do this again, and we will, uh, ooh, that tarp is steaming, and we'll have some food. You okay? Whoa, she's all warm, all warm. We need that to die down a little bit. There's an orangey tinge from the tarp above. I promise you it's not orange. Pine needle for zest. You're not fully clean unless you're pine needly clean. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It's going pretty good. Let's get the race going. Did I mention it was a Joe Robinette edition? With the Scout logo and all. Get rid of the debris. Debris. I'm going to uh, just let it soak for a minute while this cooks because I don't have enough room on the fire for both. I don't want to build a large fire. There you go. These are just about done, I would say, huh? I would say so. Maybe not that one. Let's see. It's just about done. Oh, this is such a good idea. How does Doug do it? Ah! No, Doug! Some of the gun. Take three. For the first time I'm putting this on here. Look at that. First time's a charm. Keep the bail up. Possible. Food will be done in a minute. Fish is all done for sure. Rice will be cooked up shortly. It's deceiving under this tarp. It looks like it's a nice bright sunny day, but I can assure you it's not. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, this is an all-day rain now, but it's a good feeling. You know, it's a it's a nice, jolly, happy feeling underneath the tarp. I'll take it. Let's try a couple pieces of this fish. I've been eating it a little bit. It's super tasty. I've come to the realization that I really like it crispy. So, in the future, I'm going to be cutting it real thin. Anyways. Let's check on this rice and see how she's going. I'm really happy with this fire. It's just very small and contained and I've cooked almost both my meals on it. Um, both my courses. My rice and my fish. My rice and my fish. Why are you trying to be fancy? Two course Joe. Spoon is amazing. Ergonomics through the roof. Uh oh. She done? All the water's gone. Turn the little crispy on the bottom. Let's see. Let's see if it's really rehydrated or not. Might still need some water in it. Mm, that's fine. I'm gonna pull that off. Wow, talk about an efficient fire. And a ergonomically pleasing spoon. Did I say that? Taste of boiled linseed oil. Look at that. Efficient fire. Efficient fire. So yeah, you can see it's not a not a bright sunny day out there at all. Look at that, I didn't even burn any. Full biome. Nice and uh Patina it already now. I like it. There's something about stainless steel. For a long time, I used those um, zebra billy cans, and those are stainless steel. All right. Not too shabby. Some green in there would be nice. Maybe some onions next time. Some green onions. It looks alright though, eh? You know what? Even dehydrated vegetables, and I could, yeah, put that all in there. Nice little meal. Nice little meal for, meal for Joe. Joe meal. Stoked up the fire again a little bit. Just to dry my pants off. It's a good supper. If it dies down a little bit, I'll go fishing, but... Even for a paddle would be nice, but I don't expect it to. It's actually... I thought thunderstorms by now because that's what it called for. 
I shouldn't have put the rice in with the fish. The moistness of the rice made the fish um, soft again. But that's all right. Live and learn, Joe. It's going down good. It's starting to dry out. The stretching material is going to hold on to the water a little bit more. So it looks like I'm going to be sitting out here by the fire. I can't build it too high because this tarp is here. Also, I'd like to rig up a pod hook so I can make some tea later on. I think if I make a decent sized tripod, it will serve both of those purposes. So I'm going to grab the GoPro. I'm going to head off into the woods, see if we can find three sticks about the, as tall as I am. Sweet. Check this out. This is probably at least two of the poles that I need. Perfect. I want to be about as tall as I am. I'll probably get two pieces out of this. Yeah, we'll cut two. Just one more will do. Do 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 do. Looks a little berry back here. Little berry. I see no signs of a camp, like no uh, fire pit, no latrine, no real trails to speak of. There's a nice dead standing, but it'll probably be better off for firewood for someone later on. Over here, yeah, this will work. I'll take to here. All right. My feet are wet. All right. Let's see if this works out. This paddle has been falling and the tarp has been coming close to the fire. <clears throat> so this is coming in no, no uh, short enough time. I'm going to put my handkerchief on top of the, uh, of the poles just for extra um, protection for my tarp, considering it's a pretty lightweight tarp. Oh, the paddle is not going to like this. This might work out though. This might work out just fine. Yeah, I knew, I knew that was going to happen. All right, hold up. Okay, it's not looking too shabby, guys. Put a string down, hang it from here. I can adjust it even farther down if I want, which maybe I do. That's not bad there. Okay, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. My chair is soaked because the, the uh, tarp kept falling. That's okay. The tarp didn't burn, so that's good. And my peanut M&Ms are unscathed. Oh yeah, it's like we're camping. It's like we're almost camping now. Perfect. What a cool scene. Tent in the background and everything. Let's see, I got the bandana of protection. Now my fire is free to grow. It won't even come near the top. I'm gonna add a little wood to there and uh, try and get warm, dry off. I possibly hear thunder in the distance.
would be cool to get a legit thunderstorm. Get the audio for you guys. Maybe some lightning. I don't mind it now that Emerald's not here with me. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. Paddle, you let me down again. Cracked my camera. You okay? You guys okay? Stupid paddle. I'm gonna have to put some weight coming down on this side of it. Do it up properly. So I'll just tie right to this here and then have an anchor point back here somewhere. This, this tarp or this rope really isn't long enough. I'll have to be down there. Okay. That's what we'll do. Oh, my camera got rained on quite a bit there, but that's the setup. Whoop. Rain is coming in, the wind is coming in too. Might be a short night out here. All right, man, this storm is coming in. It's obvious. Uh, I'm trying to whip up this, uh, this pod hook real quick here. So I've got the piece that I want. I want this notch, or sorry, this uh, branch to be my, my hook. So I take it off, but I leave uh, a few inches. All right? Looks like a pot hook. Clean all this stuff up. But I don't want to clean it all up because some of it will be good to grab um, and to use as lengtheners like I can wrap around different no, uh, different nodules coming out different little twigs coming out so we'll leave it like that and then potentially you can put more pots on it as well but that's that's what we're going for we're going to connect that to the top here with a little piece of paracord man it's uh she nasty out the camera's getting rained on pretty good So then if I retie this with just a normal knot at the top, I should be able to bring this up and down if I want. Yeah, exactly, look at that. So bring it all the way up or all the way down and I just tie a normal cinch knot on the top of here. Or I drop it in the fire. Honestly guys, I do this stuff all the time and everything's always different. Each application, each, each situation is different, it's never, Never a big deal, just adapt and do whatever you need to do to make it work. Okay, let's check this out. Pot on there. It's a little low, so I raise it up to there. And I can also get it closer to my fire or raise it up by wrapping around a, uh, the other log here. And I can reposition my tripod. I'm not going to right now because wind is pushing it and everything's kind of precarious, but you can certainly reposition the tripod. Okay, maybe I'm gonna do it closer so that the pot's closer to the fire. Anyways, super useful. Tripods are always cool. Now I can make up a pot of tea without just sticking it on there. And I'm kind of protected with this little tripod um, tarp dealy. I'm gonna put this camera away. Just, there's no room for it out there. It's just getting soaked everywhere. Where I put it. It's nice and dry in here though. Quite dry in here actually. I still got a piece of wood in here for tomorrow. Um, 
Oh, I got a new headlamp. I don't know what happened to mine, but after that trip with John, uh, my through night headlamp, the one I use all the time, it won't open anymore. Like it's a corroded shut. So I got a new Petzl. This is the Actic from Petzl. It's got three modes plus the red. And I think I have party strobe too. Anyways, it's a good little headlamp. Tika works. Um, yeah. I'm going to put the camera in here. We're going to go sit back up by the fire until we can't anymore. I have the GoPro out there though. Don't worry. This is my whole world right here, guys. <laughs> this like a tiny little rectangle of dryness, somewhat dryness. I love it. This is real camping. None of this easy peasy, summertime, living's easy type stuff that I've been doing lately. This is real camping. I'm glad it's raining. It's, uh, let's see what time it is. You know, I always wear a watch in the woods because I'd like to know in the middle of the night when I get up, sorry, when I get up in the middle of the night, if it's dark, if it's 5 o'clock, if it's 2 o'clock, if it's midnight, I don't know. You know what I mean? I need to know if I can go back to sleep easily. I don't need to know, but I like to know. It's uh, 8.30. 8.30 in the p.m. right now. This is going to go all night for sure. And I have not seam sealed that tent. Remember I told you guys that Alux uh, tent I got came with the seam sealer and I wasn't too happy about it. I did not seam seal it. And it seems to be holding up pretty good. But this is the biggest downpour it's been, it's been in for sure already. Don't put your lid down. Bottom side first. Your, your cooking tips with Joe. All right, let's see where we need to be. Right about there, or what? Not so shabby. Well, she's steaming out the holes, so. I'm assuming it's boiling. Let's check it out. It is. Whoop. Should be able to tuck this right there pretty snugly. One snuggly baby. There we go. Nice and out of the way. Like it was meant to be. I'm pretty chilled. There's nothing really much left to the fire. Um, I think I'm gonna get ready, get everything and go to bed. I gotta take off these wet clothes because I have nothing to change into. And I'm gonna go lay in my little rinky dink uh, sleeping bag. Um, I'm gonna take my tea with me. But I gotta tie up the canoe. All right, camp is all, bed's all set up. I realized I've got to run back out there. There's some mosquitoes in here. They found me because of my headlamp. So I'm gonna go run out and grab a smoldering piece of wood and put it on top of my frying pan and bring it in here. Oh, this thing is soaked. Bring it in here and um, and that will deter any more from coming in and that will subdue 
those guys will get kind of dopey. So I'm going to run out and do that real quick here. I'll be right back. This pine needle tea is pine, pine needly tea. But it's making me warm on the inside, so it's really, really nice. Oh, I need Lee TE. You know what? I'm not gonna grab my put on my fire on my frying pan just because it might smell like fish still. I'll grab a piece and put it on this lid. <clears throat> this thing is not very smoldery. see this hopefully we got it right on the lid of the pot maybe if I put a little bit of this on there it'll smoke a little bit more there we go there we go I'm just gonna do a little bit of this just to get get the bugs down. You can see black flies actually crawling around too. That's handy. I'll tell you to be able to do that on the lid too. You can still do it on titanium, I'm sure. I'm sure some people are concerned, but I opened up the vents on here on both sides. It really did kill it, kill down the bugs. I don't see any now. Actually, I opened up uh, that vent too, and it's done. All the mosquitoes are on the ground now, perfect. Anyways, it's done, and I have it there to light back up with my fire steel or, or a lighter if I want to. I wanna shut this light off for a little bit just so I don't uh, attract any mosquitoes unnecessarily. I'm not going to bed yet, I'm just gonna get situated, situated and lay down. Glad I made that. Good morning. It's almost 7 a.m. I got super stuffed up over the night. I can't even breathe out of my nose at all. Uh, good night's sleep. It rained all night. It's not raining now. I fell asleep. I told you guys I wasn't going to. Last time I talked to you, I was like, I'm not going to sleep yet. I laid here for a little bit. Put a podcast on and just crashed. So I got a good night's sleep anyway. I'm supposed to, supposed to meet that dude relatively early today to go fishing for the day. And I don't have any cell service out here to call him and tell him I'm going to be late or not going to be there or whatever. So I'd better get up and make some breakfast and start getting ready to get out of here it is deadly calm it's super quiet I wonder what the sky looks like probably pretty overcast still let's get up and see do you hear the quiet do you hear the quiet? The bug situation wasn't very bad at all. Uh, they buzzed around. The worst was just hearing them. They weren't even really biting. So not having the bug net was not such a bad deal. Uh, but, but burning off that little bit of punk wood last night I think really helped too. Oh, beauty. Beauty morning.
Top water morning. Oh my tripod fell over. That's okay. Man, it's quiet out here. That seagull has a piece of something. There's a fish. The seagull has a fish. What? Way to go, seagull. What you got, big guy? Is that bass? He's coming to show me. Oh my god, that's a big fish. Look at him. Rip that thing apart, bro. Good job, dude. <laughs> That's a big fish he's got. You're okay. I don't want it. I don't want it. You're good, man. You're good. That fish is the length of him. I hope it comes through in the video. That's hilarious. It's weighing him down in the front. <laughs> Oh, well, that's pretty amusing, huh? Breed them big out here, I guess. So, let's get this all situated properly so it sits right. That's not going to sit where I want it. That is. Uh, it's a little off. A little off. So, we're going to move the whole tripod over a touch. Oh, well, bam! She's right in the thick of it now. It's slick. I brought it right up to my camp. I'm really sure to eat it. Literally, my camp is right here. <laughs> Good boy. Or girl. Good gull. I don't want to assume your gull gender. My silly camera messed up on me. I showed you, um, I was showing you guys the blueberries I collected. I put them all in one pouch of oatmeal. And I'm doing the oatmeal in the packets today. Um, so I didn't get as much oatmeal, as much blueberries as I wanted, so I just kept them in one packet to kind of savor it. I've set that one up all, all uh, I put, put boiling water in it and everything ready just to, uh, we're just waiting to do this one, waiting for it to uh, rehydrate. I'm using a secondary memory card that I normally don't use because I have a, a big trip on my other one that I still haven't edited yet, so this one messes up on me all the time. It hasn't been doing too bad this trip, but it just did it this time for probably the second or third time. So, anyway, no big deal. Just going to share some breakfast with Mr. Gull over here. He's got a lake trout. That's what it is. It's not a it's not a bass. It's not a uh, perch. It looks more lake trouty, or Or maybe a sucker, but I think it looks like a small lake trout to me. But anyways, get some breakfast into us. Let's see what the uh, the blueberries look like in here. Oh, my blueberries, my purple and blue. Berries are going to eat you. So good right now. Looks as though me and the gull are done eating breakfast at the same time. I'm curious as to see 
to see as to what kind of fish he was eating. So slippery. Oh yeah, sucker fish maybe. Yeah, sucker fish for sure. With those scales, eh? Ripped the head off, ripped most of the guts out. Took a little poop in my water. Not getting drinking water from there now. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get packed up and get on out of here, I think. It's a beautiful morning. It really is. Look at this awesome camp. What more could you ask for, man? The Shangri-La back there, too. Beauty. Okay, I've got everything packed up in there now. My, uh, my wet tarp didn't want to compact too much. We still got to get the, the tent in the bottom of it. Be all right. Some skeeters is coming out. <laughs> ah, skip to my little. Shake it till you break it. So one more time, let's go over the backpack and your chances of winning a free one. What did I do? This is called the Forest Rock from the Hidden Woodsman. You need to follow at the Hidden Woodsman. The Hidden Woods, M-E-N, not M-A-N. The Hidden Woods Men. And to follow Malcolm there, he's an awesome dude. These are all handmade in New England. I have dealt with Malcolm for years. We've become friends. We were supposed to get together this year again, but he's in the States. I'm in Canada, so it's not happening. But I love supporting him. He has supported me. And he's a really solid down-to-earth dude. Makes amazing packs and gear specified for bushcrafters, woodsmen, woodswomen, people like us who like to be out in the woods and have gear designed exactly for them so go follow hidden woodsman on instagram on his last post put joe sent me i'm in and we're going to give away one of these joe robin edition forest rocks and one of those red food slash possibles pouches so you can see that's a hefty bag, man. That's a decent backpack. About 30 pounds, uh, sorry, about 30 liters, 25 liters maybe. Solid. This thing will last you your life. You pass this on to your kids. And if you're interested in purchasing one outright, I think they're $185 shipped. Free shipping to Canada. So, he's a good dude. Support him. Makes good stuff. Also, Wild and Bushcraft. Also, my pot that you saw me using. Go check that out on BunkerBranding.com under Influencers, Joe Robinette. All right, guys. And again, that's just if you want it. No hard feelings if you don't. That's totally cool, man. Completely understand it. I get people asking all the time where my stuff is, want more stuff. So this is me just explaining that and me selling some gear, me making some money, me supporting my family, and me getting some good uh, gear out to you guys. Quality gear. You never have to worry about my stuff. It's never going to be garbage. I can promise you that. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. I'm gonna paddle out, portage out, drive out, and meet up with a new friend. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We'll see you soon.
talk about a perfect hook. Look at that. It's right through his lip. This is the first fish I've caught today. He looks much different than the bass that I've been catching in those other lakes. This guy has a bluish tinge to him and a lot of a lot more dark on his belly. Whereas I'm used to seeing white. That was a good jump, yeah. I got him on that CC shad. Did you? He's got good color. He's beautiful. Yeah. Um, do you have your pliers on you? Yeah, I do. Um, mine are back at the thing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not moving, but... Whoa, he's yeah. barrel rolling. Oh, right on. Right on, man. That's a decent one, eh? I don't have to do with that. I was, I, I was saying I wanted to catch a pike today, so. Right on. Go on, buddy. There you go. No harm done.